In this video, let us analyze the problem exercise D 4.22. The problem is stated as follows. Using two transistors Q1 and Q2 have equal lengths but widths are related by W2 by W1 equals 5. Design the current mirror to obtain I equals 0.5 milliampere. Let VDD equals minus VSS equals 5 volt. The process transconductance parameter and aspect ratio K and dash into W by L 1 equals 0.8 milliampere per volt square. The threshold voltage of the MOSFET is 1 volt and channel length modulation effects are 0. Find the required value for R. What is the voltage at the gates of Q1 and Q2 transistor? What is the lowest voltage allowed at the drain of Q2 while Q2 remains in the saturation region? The circuit uh, given is as shown here. This is a current mirror circuit. The gate and drain are shorted. The Q1 forms a diode connected transistor. Q1 by default operates in saturation region. However, based on the voltages at drain and gate, we can say Q2 operates in saturation region or not. Now let us write down the given data. W2 by W1 is given as 5. I equals 0.5 milliampere. That is current flowing through the Q2 transistor is 0.5 milliampere. Supply voltage VDD equals minus VSS equals 5 volt. K and dash into W by L of 1 equals 0.8 milliampere per volt square. Threshold voltage of the transistor is 1 volt. Lambda is 0. Channel length modulation effect is 0. R value must be estimated. This is R value which we need to calculate. Also, we need to calculate the gate voltage of Q1 transistor as well as gate voltage of Q2 transistor. Further, we need to estimate drain voltage of Q2 transistor that is minimum drain voltage of Q2 transistor for Q2 to operate in saturation region. Now, let us recall the basic equation of current mirror circuit. I by I reference current flowing through the Q2 transistor divided by current flowing through the Q1 transistor is equal to W by L of 2 by W by L of 1. So these are nothing but the aspect ratios of Q2 transistor and aspect ratio of Q1 transistor. Now we can uh, write this numerator and denominator as W2 by L2 into L1 by W1. The given problem says length of both transistor Q1 and Q2 are equal. Therefore, L2 equals L1. If you substitute this L2 equals L1 in the basic equation, I by I reference equation, we get I by I reference equals W2 by W1, which is given as 5. From this, we can determine the reference current since I is given. The reference current I reference equals W1 by W2 into I. Since W2 by W1 is 5, therefore W1 by W2 becomes 1 by 5. And I is given as 0.5 milliampere. Therefore, reference current is 0.1 milliampere. For Q1 transistor, the voltage at the gate equals voltage at the drain and also the threshold voltage of the Q1 transistor is 1 volt. Therefore, we can determine VGD of the Q1 transistor. The VGD of Q1 transistor is 0 since VG equals VD and VT is 1 volt. Comparing VGD and VT, we can say that VGD is less than VT. Therefore, Q1 operates in saturation region. Now we can make use of saturation current equation and determine the overdrive voltage. 
the saturation current equation is given by I reference equals 1 by 2 Kn dash W by L sub 1 into VOV square. Substituting I reference as 0.1 milliampere of Kn dash into W by L as half into 0.8 VOV, we can keep it as it is. Computing VOV square which is equal to 2 into 0.1 divided by 0.8 gives word ray voltage as 0.5 volt. Once we know word ray voltage, we can calculate the gate to source voltage. The gate to source voltage and word ray voltage are related by this equation. VGS equals VOV plus VT. Since word ray voltage is 0.5 volt, VT is 1 volt. The gate to source voltage is found to be 1.5 volt. Once we know gate to source voltage, we can calculate gate voltage of the Q1 transistor by using this equation. VGS equals VG minus VS. VG equals VGS plus VS. VGS is 1.5 volt. VS is minus 5 volt. Therefore, VG equals minus 3.5 volt. VG equals minus 3.5 volt is the gate voltage of the Q1 transistor. Since gate voltage of the Q1 transistor is minus 3.5 volt, the gate voltage of the Q2 transistor will be minus 3.5 volt. Once we know the gate voltage of Q1 transistor, we can determine the resistor value R value using this equation. R equals VDD minus VG divided by I reference. VDD is 5 volt. VG of Q1 is minus 3.5 volt. Reference current is 0.1 milliampere. Therefore, R value is 85 kilo ohm. Now we can determine drain to source voltage, minimum drain to source voltage value, which is equivalent to the word ray voltage, that is 0.5 volt. Once we know VDS minimum, we can determine drain voltage minimum using this equation. Minimum drain voltage equals minimum drain source voltage minus VSS. VDS minimum is 0.5 volt. VSS is 5, therefore VD minimum is found to be minus 4.5 volt. Now we can substitute all computed values to the original circuit and therefore the final circuit can be written as shown in this figure.